Hello folks, in this video we will see how to solve the lead code problem 2 sum which is a easy level lead code problem. So let's look at the question first. Here the question is, uh, we will be given an integer array and a target number. So what we have to do is, we have to find two indices such that uh, the elements at those two indices when added together will give us the target number, right? So uh, how can we approach this? Uh, here is an example. So let's look at an example first. Uh, here we have the array 2, 7, 11, 15 and the target is 9. So here we can uh, clearly see that when we add the element at index 0 and element at index 1, we get the target 9, right? So what we can do is, anyway, we will have to iterate through the array. So in our program, we'll iterate through the input array and at each index, we'll see like uh, anyway we are having this element so which number added to this particular number will give us the target number right so uh, we can put it this way like anyway we are having this particular element element with us so we have to see whether there exists a number that is th that equals to target minus this particular number right that so that uh, when uh, these two numbers add, uh, added, uh, added up together will give us the target number, right? So uh, we can do that way. And since we need to look this up at every index, like uh, maybe at index uh, index five, we as uh, we got uh, we got a number seven. Okay, let's say for example, we got number seven, and the target is nine. So we know that target nine minus this element seven, nine minus seven that gives Two, right uh, we have to we have to see whether that element already exists in the array the input array if, if at all it's existing then we can uh, we can uh, we know that uh, th that sums up to nine right so we can simply return the uh, indices of these two elements and again uh, the question is asking us to return the indices not the elements right so uh, what we can do is we can use a dictionary to store some information and that information will be uh, the element at this particular index and the index itself that is a uh, dictionary is a key value pair right so we can say uh, its key can be the value we, we are currently looking at and uh, the key uh, value the value can be the index of that particular value that is the what is the current index we are at right when we uh, when we store this information to a dictionary at every iteration, we can look up at O of one time uh, because dictionaries are uh, super fast, right? We can access them, uh, access the value at O of one time. So uh, let's get into the code and see how we can solve this. Let's say uh, we can have a dictionary first, right? Uh, we can call that index map. Index map equal to dict. So we have a dictionary here and we'll be iterating through the entire array. Uh, we can use enumerate function to get the index and value at the same time uh, uh, instead of using the uh, normal for loop, right? So for index comma value in enumerate of nums input array, uh, what we can do is we have to store the information, right? What we are storing, we are storing index map of index map of value equals the index itself right okay so now we are storing this information in a dictionary now what we have to do is at each element we'll see like we are already having this element so we have to see uh, whether we have seen the remaining element that is target minus this particular element in our array if we have found then we can return the index right so during the during each loop what we can do is let's say remaining number equals target minus the current element right that is value target minus value now now we have to check whether this remaining number uh, is there in the dictionary that is whether we have found this remaining number if found we have we have got a solution right so if 
remaining number in index map what we can do is we can return we have to return two, two indices and again uh, that must be an array as per the requirement right here so it must be an array and the first element should be the index of the first element so we can say index map of index map of the remaining number right and the second element should be this this in this in index itself right the element at which we are uh, currently at right so we can uh, simply take it from here itself index it's already here so index and also uh, one thing uh, we can note here is it's already given in the question that uh, there exists exactly one solution so we don't have to uh, put any other check or anything like it. it's it's sure that there exists a solution so we can write this directly if this condition sat satisfies then we can simply return the indices right so let's try running this program Yes, the code is working fine. See you in the next video.